Hello folks, I hope the skies stay clear. If I want to capture Jupiter, but Jupiter won't be in view for another few hours. So um, let's see what I've got going on here. Um, here's my Explorer Scientific setup. I don't have the Rasa out because uh, it runs off of my laptop, but my laptop is going to be controlling that next star ADSC telescope way off in the distance there. That's what I'm going to be using to capture Jupiter with. Let's take a look at this setup here. Uh, when I do planets, I like to stay outside and, and, and control everything. Unlike uh, when I do deep sky, I stay inside the house. So here's my laptop and here's my heavy duty battery. It has a port for 20 volts to keep my laptop charged and another port for 12 volts to keep my mount charged over here. And here's my next star 8SC telescope with a wedge. And the wedge will help me not get field rotation on Jupiter if I try an animation. Last year I tried it without the, the wedge and, and uh, it made it look like Jupiter was wobbling because that was because of the, the rotation that it can't, that an alt azimuth can't account for. So hopefully that, that won't be an issue this, this year. Here's my ZWO ASI 224MC camera and my Telrad, which is already lined up. I took care of that earlier. It's lined up with the telescope. So hopefully I can just zero in right on Jupiter when it's time but Jupiter won't be out until midnight and it's only nine o'clock now so uh, it's gonna be a late one tonight all right I'll see you later hello there I just wanted to get myself on camera but I'm gonna go back inside the house and wait for a few more hours for Jupiter to come out okay Okay, so this is a live view of Jupiter using SharpCap to capture it with. And let's see, what am I doing here? Let me cancel that. Let me show you what I'm doing. I wasn't sure. I can't remember how long I should make uh, these videos for, but I'm going 20, with 20 second videos and I'm going to perform a sequence of 99. I'll probably increase that later and 10 seconds in between each video because I'm going to go for an animation here. And I'm going to click start. And that's about the best focus I can achieve. I do have a UV IR filter on my camera. But I mean, this thing is low. And I, I can see it jiggling, probably, be, probably because of the atmosphere, of course. And uh, there are some moons off to the left. I saw two moons, but I'm not going to worry about that if they get truncated. I, I, I don't mind. I just want to capture Jupiter and see how well this wedge works. I can see it's drifting upward, the tracking, but um, I would expect something like that because I, I didn't really do a polar alignment. I just took my best guess. So this thing is really uh, definitely not going to have perfect tracking when you're only guessing at polar alignment. So we'll see how this comes out, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.